Welcome to RWM Blue Water Ministry. I'm your host, Bob Manuk, and the topic today is the authenticity of the Bible. If you were ever to buy a new car, or even a newer used car, you would find in the glove box the owner's manual, or the manufacturer's handbook. Uh, it will provide you with all the information required for regular maintenance and how to keep the vehicle in tip-top running order and to get a long life out of it. So the creator of the universe created the heavens and the earth and every living creature and then he prepared mankind, the apple of his eye. And the creator, the manufacturer, has provided us with a manual, a creator's handbook, how to live this life and keep ourselves in tip top. Uh, so somehow you need to decide what the Bible is because that's what we're talking about. The, the Creator's Handbook, the Manufacturer's Handbook, is the Bible. And uh, so is it what it says it is? God's Word to mankind? Or is it the writings of many ancient people? Uh, is it fables? Parables? Or is it truth? Is it what it says it is? Some claim that the Bible is the authentic Word of God. How can they know this? The Bible explains that when you make Jesus Lord of your life, the Holy Spirit is deposited in you as an assurance of the hope you have, the assurance that heaven is yours. Here, 1 Corinthians 5, verse 5. Now the one who has fashioned us for this very purpose is God, who has given us the Spirit as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. 1 John 2.27 But you have received the Holy Spirit, and He lives within you. So you don't need anyone to teach you what is true, for the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know, and what He teaches is true. It is not a lie. So just as He has taught you, remain in fellowship with Christ. Now, I'm going to just kind of paint a little picture there. Um, as, as being not believers, then of course that's what we wonder, is the Bible true? Is it can you count on it? What this is taught about is once you've received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then things begin to happen. You get a deposit of the Holy Spirit within you. The Holy Spirit then starts to teach you things. And when, when all that starts to happen, um, you know, shockingly, you'll know that it's true. You'll know that the Bible is true because it's starting to become a reality in your life. The Holy Spirit's in you, granting you revelation leading you places, get, you know, speaking to your heart. When you read the Bible, there'll be certain scriptures that'll just leap off the page, and it'll be God, through the Holy Spirit, speaking to you through the Word of God. It will uh, validate itself. Once you become a Christian, uh, you won't have any doubts after that. So, once you have experienced the reality of God's presence through the Holy Spirit, then the Holy Spirit confirms to you the authenticity of the Holy Scriptures, which is the Bible, that is God's Word. Initially, you need faith to believe in God and Jesus. But once you believe and you experience God's presence, you know God changed you through Jesus. You no longer need faith to believe in God. Uh, you will know. You won't need to have faith in, in terms of believing the Bible. You will know. You will still need faith to believe God's Word in the Bible. Uh, in other words, it will still require, even, even once you've exercise faith to become a believer, then you will know that God is, you know the Bible is real. It will still require faith to be a doer of the word and not just a hearer. I believe if a person does a sincere search through the scriptures, they will recognize a common message from one writer to another, whether written almost 4,000 years ago uh, by God's prophets or 2,000 years ago by the apostles and followers of Christ. So here's some Bible facts. There are 66 books in the Bible, 39 in the Old Testament, which is B.C., before Christ, and 27 books in the New Testament, which is A.D., after death, uh, which is after the death of Jesus. The Bible was written over a period of around 2,000 years by about 40 different authors who wrote in three different languages. These unique facts make the Bible one of a kind. With so many authors over a couple of millennia, 
It is more than, than impressive that the themes are common, that God has an unfailing love for his people, uh, that according to his plan, he made them able to be his sons and daughters. He made possible way of salvation through Jesus. It does make sense if you consider that there is one author, our Creator, our Heavenly Father, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit on various men through two millennia. It is his love letter to mankind, the manufacturer's handbook, how to succeed in this life and how to prepare for the life to come. This is what the Bible says about itself. In 2 Timothy 3.16, All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. In 2 Peter 1, uh, chapter 1, 20, 21, Above all, you must realize that no prophecy in Scripture ever came from the prophet's own understanding or from human initiative. No, those prophets were moved by the Holy Spirit and they spoke from God. This is what the psalmist wrote in Psalm 119.11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. In Psalm 119.105. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. So how can we know that the Bible really is God's Word? By experiencing God's presence when we are truly seeking Him. By experiencing His unfailing love for us. By understanding His plan of salvation, the forgiveness of our sins, through the sacrifice of Jesus when we make Jesus Lord of our life. And by recognizing His deposit of the Holy Spirit into our lives. And there are many other things that, that will confirm the Word in our lives too. All of these will confirm to us the truth and authenticity of the Holy Scriptures. If you don't already own one, get a modern-day Bible. Attend a Bible-believing church where they will uh, help you discover the truth that is in the Word of God. Uh, and they will disciple you in, uh, in how to live up to what the, God, uh, the Bible has called us to and how to serve God, how to, how to, how to be good Christians. If you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, there's a video on this website titled Making Jesus Lord. It will lead you into the prayer of salvation. And uh, if you say that prayer in faith, you'll be born again and become a child of God. Um, God bless you on your journey. This, this being kind of my year-end video, um, I, I just want to point out uh, is that other, other things that we've done this year on this website, and I just want to kind of refer you to them. Um, so we, we've, we've done some series on biblical finances. We just recently did a series on the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which addressed uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, prophecy, miracles, healings. Uh, then we did uh, a series on end times. Ta ta there was a, a, a video that we, we talked about the various end time movie reviews, uh, uh, end time movies that have taken place over the last 50 years. Uh, there was a couple of articles where I provided links, links to the end time movies on YouTube. Also there was articles with links of end times uh, table talks uh, with people talking about where we are on the end times clock. And it's, you know, <laughs> being informed is being forewarned, you know. I, 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 uh, suggest that you look at those things and, and, and be informed because you know I, I do believe that we're in the last days and we're closer today than we've ever been so uh, so anyway th there's other there's other topics that we talked about this year which I think I think will be beneficial I, I see this ministry as a teaching ministry we, we, we base everything on the Word of God and I you know when I talk about the authenticity of the Bible I um, mean it's because I believe that the Bible is God's Word it is the manufacturer's handbook and if you live your life according to the Word, uh, you will have a fulfilled and long life. It will be a good life for you. Uh, and um, and it will be a rich life. A rich life with the fullness of God in it. Um, so I can only uh, hope that um, you will be a seeker. and Because I know that the, the Word says itself, if you draw near to God, He will draw near to you. And He will make Himself known to you if, 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 if you are looking for Him. So I'll, uh, I'll close this off with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I pray for every person 
who is hearing this message. I pray, Lord, that you grant them revelation, that you will surround them with your love. Uh, Lord, that you will speak to them through your word, and you will surround them with uh, uh, Christians and uh, loose laborers in their fields who will be a witness to them and lead them into all truth, that your spirit will lead them into all truth. Lord, that uh, you will direct their paths and take them on a journey that will ultimately bring them to you, that they can experience your full salvation, and uh, they can be a member of the family of God. I thank you for it, and I ask all these things, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Uh, this is Bob Manuk from RWM Blue Water Ministry, declaring blessings on you and yours until we meet again. Amen.